Hey everybody and welcome back. I'm back in my studio now and I'm actually going to be making some pieces tonight and I thought I would uh, bring you guys along with me and share with you uh, something new that I'm working on, just having having a little fun playing around with a, a new idea, a new concept, uh, a new combination of things that I've done in previous work uh, and just combining it in a different way. And so I put a couple uh, pieces in the last fire and I did uh, and they turned out really well and just kind of expanded on the idea of, of what I wanted to uh, work on. And so I got an example here or two that I want to show you of, of what I'm going to be doing, what it looks like finished, and then we're going to go through the process of making one and explaining how it happens. So, so this here is the piece that I, uh, one of the pieces I want to talk about. So this uh, is a really simple form. So if you look at just the shape of it, I wanted to take a really simple form, really just really well thrown, but a really simple form. And then what I did is I actually applied uh, that you see the lighter brown swoosh there. That is actually a slip that I applied to the piece after it was thrown. So that's actually done in three different spots, uh, three different sides per se of, of the vase. You can see here kind of uh, divided up the vase into three sections. And then what I did is I actually took the vase. Uh, and I, I actually used an ash glaze on one side of the piece here and then I actually uh, fired this piece on its side sitting on seashells uh, that we picked up from the beach and so what what that has done is not only the ash glaze that I sprayed on it so the piece was fired sitting like this right here so not only were, were the was the pot sitting on the seashells but the, the ash glaze ran during the firing and you kind of kind of see the way it ran to the side right there based on the belly of the piece and maybe how it was sitting. So uh, you can see that the, the result is you have runs on this piece going horizontal uh, and you've got, I, I strategically placed the seashells so I glued the seashells on beforehand so I could strategically place where I wanted them to go. So I, I purposely wanted to uh, uh, use this side of the piece because I like the slip work that was right here the best. Um, I also wanted to put one of the seashells interrupting the flow of the slip work that you can see right there. And then ha I got another one right there that was interrupting it there and then this one just off to the side. But then you can see where the ash glaze ran around and I've got these big bubbles of, of, of glass basically where that melted and ran. So I've just got this combination, not in a, not in a giant piece, but I've got this combination of, of multiple things going on in one piece. I've got the, the simple but refined shape, I've got the slip work done, I've got the seashells and I've got the runs going horizontal where the, the slip work's going vertical. Uh, and just created a really awesome um, uh, really awesome spectacle for me in this, in this small area and, and just a lot going on that I thought was amazing. So here's, here's one more example of uh, a different, uh, this, this had a different slip, this was a, an iron slip so this kind of melted and flared out a little bit from where it was originally placed on. Um, so this one also was placed sitting on seashells. Uh, and then this one had a different ash glaze put on as well that has some blue in it. So you got some neat, you've got a lot of runs on this one side here. Uh, but my favorite side on this one is, is probably right in here. So I've got the combination of, of the slip going on. I've got the seashell mark here, but then I've got this flash uh, of, of wood ash that just happened to uh, occur right here in this one spot. So based on where this was sitting and the seashell being right here, the way the flame moved across this piece uh, came across this way and went around so the piece was sitting like this. The way the flame hit this side and, and caused the, the ash glaze to run but also caused that flash of, of ashes to happen right there in front of that seashell just cr created a really nice uh, uh, location or a uh, uh, a spot on this piece that really just uh, really just shines really uh, stands out to me as, as a really neat and I, I I clean up these areas where the seashells were I don't grind them completely off because I want actually some of that seashell to be left on the piece as a really neat marking um, and just to show off uh, the, the difference kind of taking in my opinion this is taking a refined shape a refined piece that's really simple and then just throw in some uh, some unpredictability to it by by putting that the the slip work on the ash glaze just on one side and then firing it on the side with the seashells 
it just it, to me it's a it's a great combination of taking something refined and then just kind of throw in some unpredictability let the kiln and the flame and the fire do a lot of the work after that and see what happens and of course I've had my share of, of, um, um, of uh, pieces that didn't did not turn out because they fell over stuck to a shelf you know those, those kind of things but just to give you an idea so I'm gonna make one of these tonight uh, show it to you on the video I'll do a little bit of the slip work of course I won't be able to show you the uh, the, the, um, the finished uh, piece of that or the or the the next steps of applying the seashells and all that kind of thing but we're gonna throw the piece and do the slip work and uh, so there there uh, give you guys an idea of what I'm gonna be working on and what we'll throw so uh, let's get started all right, gang, so here we are. Uh, I've got about uh, two pounds of clay here that we're going to be using to make one of these vases. And uh, one of the exciting things for me right now, too, is I actually just made a purchase of some of the new, uh, it's called New Catawba 10. Uh, it's a cone 10 clay that uh, is mixed here locally at Starworks uh, Ceramics. And uh, they're getting, uh, it's all a uh, local sourced clay from North Carolina. And uh, it's really cool to me. It throws really well, even being a, a, even straight out of the bag with it being really soft. I tend to like to use a little bit of a stiffer clay, but this clay just has some great elasticity to it. Uh, allows to make great, uh, great forms, great shapes, even when it's a little bit softer. So, uh, but anyway, I'm going to take about two pounds of clay here and make one of these vases, and then uh, I'll probably change camera angles so you can see me do a little bit of the slip work. So, uh, here we go. So I'm always uh, excited, excited and interested in in, uh, in doing new uh, new things, new shapes, new designs. Uh, keeps uh, keeps uh, keeps things exciting and keeps me interested, and it keeps my mind my mind's always going. I'm always being inspired by things I see and, and people's people's work that I see. But I always try to turn that into what can I do to make that. Uh, use that in my work. I don't want to copy what somebody does and just try to make it my own. I want to take the inspirations I get from other other things that I see, whether it's uh, ceramics or whether it's something else uh, in, in the world that, uh, that I can take and use that in, in my work uh, as an inspiration and, and kind of transform it into my own ideas and, and into the uh, what I can play around with. So. That's kind of where this has come from. I, I've, I've started doing uh, side fired pieces in the last couple years and had a lot of fun doing those, but then I, I wanted to kind of change that up a little bit and, and uh, kind of take advantage of the things that I saw happening with pieces that were fired on their side sitting on seashells. I wanted to take advantage of that by using some ash glazes using of course the seashells and then also just adding the kind of the third component that I was talking about there a minute ago with the uh, the slip work and how that all could interact with with uh, the other two components of the uh, seashells and the, and, the, and the glaze You can kind of see there why I love this clay so much. Um, it just really, uh, really behaves well. Almost, it's almost like uh, you can just tell it what to do, and it uh, and it complies. It's it's really nice and fun to work with. Another fun part about uh, firing a piece laying on its side is that if it's if you throw it thin enough, but not too thin, you can get to where the seashells, uh, the weight of the piece laying on the seashells will will deform the shape just a little bit and sometimes create an indention where the seashell is, and uh, that's that's a really neat effect to me also because it, it's very natural. 
Uh, you've got a uh, you've got a, a really smooth form shape here, and then and then you take and set it on those seashells. But that kind of the, the the piece slumping a little bit over that seashell kind of adds to that effect uh, because it's still gonna it's gonna slump in a similar fashion uh, to way that the way the piece is made. It's it's gonna kind of slump around that refined shape and make it even uh, a really neat uh, indention uh, with that. Okay, so there we go. That's uh, this is the form. I've got the little foot here on the bottom, uh, just to kind of define the bottom of it. Even though this is gonna be fired on its side, it'll still, to me, it adds to the look of it once it's finished. That it has the little uh, little defined foot there on the bottom, just a roll of the clay that gives you a defined uh, foot ring. So now we'll take this piece. I'm gonna, I'll I'll change camera angles just so you guys can see the slip work being done. So now I've got my uh, my slip here that I've mixed. This is actually, you can see a little green there, it's actually a white uh, a white clay slip that I've mixed up in a slurry that's uh, that I put into these application bottles um, that allow me to uh, to get that onto the piece a little better. So you can you can see there if I squirt a little bit out that is a uh, that's a white uh, a white clay slip. So. This is going to show up good as a contrast on this piece, so I'll use the white on this. Uh, the white, actually on the one piece that I showed you already, was the, the, the clay, that the slip that turned a little bit lighter brown. That was the, actually the white slip. The trick with doing this, uh, this slip is that it really has to be done in a fluid, kind of fast, consistent motion. Uh, it's kind of like being confident when you're, when you're, when you're doing brush strokes or painting. Uh, the more confident and smooth you can do them, the better it's going to look. So it's kind of like one of those things where you can't you can't be too meticulous, and that's kind of one of the things that I love about doing these pieces recently was was just taking it and, and flowing and running with uh, with whatever comes out of the split, uh, the slip bottle as I as I kind of do do some design, and then I I kind of do it on on three uh, three different sides of the piece. So. Uh, I'll do uh, I'll do a, a side or two here, and then uh, and then we'll see if there's anything else we want to say. So I got first got to make sure that it's flowing well out of the bottle, and then uh, and then we'll go from there. So so you can see there, I just kind of did some some quick fluid motion, uh, just to give me a a, a a little design there. I'll turn it a little bit, you know, try to get a, a third of the piece around, and then we'll we'll try to do a little bit different. A little wild there, but and then kind of go like that, and then I've got three different distinct decorations and designs uh, on this piece, and uh, things that I can work with and uh, and and choose uh, where I want to place the seashells and interrupt that design, and 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 play around with that. Uh, when this piece is, like I said, well, after it uh, dries and I'll, I'll bis fire it, and then I'm going to take and, and pick the side that I like the most that I want to show off by, by uh, you know, uh, strategically placing where I want those seashells and where I want the glaze to kind of run around and, and, and do my planning as much as I can and then let the, uh, the kiln, the flame, and the, and the, uh, the, the salt and all that uh, kind of determine the rest of it. Uh, do what I can to control uh, the outcome and then uh, and then have fun uh, letting the kiln do the rest. So hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, uh, If you try it, I'd love to see uh, see what you come up with I'd love to see your uh, see your feedback and and see your pieces. So otherwise, we'll see you next time. Take care <laughs>